The next gen Acela is known as the fastest train in the United States and is seen as a big step forward for the rail system in the Northeast. Amtrak hopes this new train can compete with airplanes because of its higher speed new design and upgraded features. But is it really the fastest train and does it actually give the premium experience that people expect? Opinions from passengers are very mixed and some even question whether the next gen Acela is truly worth the hype. We will take a closer look to see if the next gen Acela is a real improvement or just an overhyped product. Welcome to today's episode of On the Trains. Is the next gen Acela really as fast and modern as rumored? Let's find out. The fastest and most advanced HST. The next gen Acela is designed to run at a top speed of 160 miles per hour, faster than the previous generation of Acela Express, which was limited to around 150 miles per hour. The goal is to reduce travel time on the nearly 460 miles Boston Washington route to around 6 hours compared to around 7 hours previously. However, actual average speeds are often much lower due to operating limitations on the route's many curves and aging track forcing the next gen Acela to average speeds of around 100 125 miles per hour. This does not translate into a significant reduction in travel time compared to the previous generation nor does it make a noticeable difference compared to short domestic flights on the same route. Compared to other high-speed trains in the world, Japan's Shinkansen has a top speed of 200 miles per hour, France's TGV runs at 199 miles per hour, and the Shanghai Maglev even reaches speeds of over 260 miles per hour. So the next gen Acela is not the fastest high-speed train in the world, or even the fastest among fixed-track trains. In terms of capacity, the next gen Acela increases the number of seats to about 350 per train, 27% more than the previous generation, which only had about 275 seats. The goal is to meet the growing demand on the crowded Northeast line. In terms of amenities, the next gen Acela impresses with a brighter and more modern space. Passengers will easily notice the attention to details such as wider seats, ergonomic design to better support sitting posture, 110-volt power outlets and USB ports at each seat, high-speed Wi-Fi throughout the route, and more spacious luggage storage areas. All of the above improvements are aimed at building a comfortable, modern, and efficient high-speed train service to improve the passenger experience and motivate people to prioritize choosing rail for long trips in the eastern United States. Have you tried this train? Do you find it okay or not? Leave a comment below to let me know. So what do passengers think? Let's move on to the next part. First of all, we need to reach 10,000 subscribers and you guys will be the motivation for me to achieve it. Subscribe to the channel and follow the train news every day. Passengers impression. While the next gen Acela has many impressive improvements on paper, the actual passenger experience paints a rather different picture and many are disappointing. Feedback from users on forums like Reddit has revealed a series of issues related to the design and amenities of this train, leaving many passengers feeling uncomfortable and doubting the true value of the service. One of the most criticized points is the seat design. Instead of reclining like traditional seats on trains or planes, the next gen Acela's seats can only slide forward, which makes it impossible for passengers to relax or rest properly on long trips. Some users shared that the seats are very hard and uncomfortable, even describing the seat headrests as coffins with plastic flaps on both sides, causing shoulder pain. One passenger commented that the feeling of sitting on a next-gen Acela seat was worse than sitting on a park bench, which is unacceptable for a service advertised as premium. Legroom space is also a big issue that makes many people uncomfortable. Some passengers compared that the legroom on the next gen Acela is even smaller than an economy seat on an airplane, which increases the feeling of being cramped, especially when the train is crowded. In addition, modern technological amenities do not always work properly. Automatic toilets on trains often have problems causing passengers to wait for a long time or switch to other toilets that are less hygienic. Problems such as automatic doors not opening or closing properly also disrupt the passenger experience and create unnecessary pressure throughout the trip. Another notable point is that the food service area on the train does not have enough seats forcing many passengers to stand or find seats elsewhere to eat and drink. This is a big minus point when compared to high-end services because passengers want to enjoy relaxing and comfortable moments right on the train. In addition to design and comfort issues, there are also comments about noise and other technical problems. Some people complain that the area near the engine and the food service compartment door is very noisy, affecting the necessary quiet for a long trip. Some technical errors, such as doors not opening or closing properly, also make passengers feel more uncomfortable and tired. 
In addition to the issue of comfort, many passengers also criticized the fare of next-gen Acela, saying that this service is not worth the high price. On the Northeast Corridor, Acela tickets are significantly more expensive than regular Amtrak fares and airline tickets. Business class fares typically over $200, while first class can range over $400 depending on the time of day. Meanwhile, a typical economy flight on American Airlines between similar cities typically costs between $70 and $150 if booked early, while domestic business class flights can range from $250 to $450, meaning a sell of first class can be more expensive than American Airlines business class. However, passengers should also consider the added costs and inconveniences of flying, such as airport transfers, security checks, baggage fees, and longer overall travel times due to these procedures. On the other hand, NextGen Acela offers the convenience of getting from one city center to another and shortens boarding times. Despite these factors, many passengers felt that the price-dodge comfort ratio of the NextGen Acela was unbalanced. Some Reddit users pointed out, for this price, why are the seats harder than those of a budget airline, and why is it more expensive than an airline when it's faster and more comfortable? This gap between price and experience only reinforces the view that the next-gen Acela is an overrated service that doesn't offer the luxury or performance that its high price tag would suggest. Overall, these responses suggest that while the next-gen Acela has many improvements in technology and speed, there are still many aspects that have not been perfected to provide a truly comfortable and convenient experience for passengers, especially those who have high expectations for this business class on the rails service. So what are the suggestions for improvements for the next generation of Amtrak? Suggestion for Amtrak. In order for the future generations of next-gen Acela trains to truly be worthy of the title of America's fastest train and meet the increasing expectations of passengers, Amtrak needs to focus on many practical improvements. First, the seat design needs to be adjusted with a traditional reclining mechanism, thicker cushions, and more spacious legroom to ensure comfort for long journeys from Boston to Washington, D.C. Automatic systems such as doors and restrooms need to be upgraded for stability, minimizing operating errors that cause inconvenience to passengers. The cafe area should also be redesigned to have more seats and open space, avoiding the situation where passengers have to stand when using the service. In addition, improved soundproofing the use of anti-vibration materials and tighter door designs will help reduce noise and provide a smoother, more comfortable experience. Most importantly, Amtrak needs to continue to invest heavily in rail infrastructure, including track signal and bridge improvements so that trains can run at optimal speeds and significantly shorten travel times. Finally, service quality and customer communications need to be improved, helping passengers feel cared for and trust in the brand. These synchronized improvements will help the next generation of next-gen Acela not only be faster but also more comfortable, modern, and truly worthy of the leading position in the field of high-speed rail transportation in the U.S. Let's go back to see why this generation of trains has received so many complaints just a few months after its launch. Reasons for the difference the big difference between the promotion and the actual experience of the next gen Acela can be explained by a few main reasons. First, Amtrak faced the problem of increasing capacity on the crowded Northeast line, so the design of the seats and passenger compartments was forced to be tighter in exchange for the ability to carry more passengers. The application of sliding seats instead of traditional reclining seats was an effort to save space but reduced comfort, causing dissatisfaction for passengers. Second, many automatic technologies on the train such as touch doors or automatic water faucets, although modern are not really stable when operating leading to a rough experience. These technical problems also reduce the value of a premium service. Third, the difference between the expectation of the fastest, most luxurious train and the reality is very large, making many passengers feel disappointed, even skeptical about the worthiness of the next gen Acela in the luxury segment. However, it is also necessary to recognize that next-gen Acela is still a step forward in terms of speed and technology compared to previous generations in the U.S. It helps shorten travel time, increase transport capacity, and is in the process of being improved to be more complete. In conclusion, next-gen Acela is a remarkable project but has not yet fully demonstrated its potential as advertised. It is not necessarily the fastest or most luxurious train in America, according to the actual experience of many passengers but there are many weaknesses that need to be overcome. Therefore, calling next-gen Acela an overhyped product is not without basis, especially in the context of expectations and reality having a large gap.
Amtrak's continued improvement in service quality and optimizing the passenger experience will determine whether the future of next-gen Acela is worthy of its current reputation. That's all for today. See you next time.